great team win. My thoughts. Watch against the Washington football team. Let's get to it. Everybody, great team win from that massacre we had Monday. Lamar Jackson did his thing. 14 completed out of 21 attempts, 193 yards passing, two TDs, one interception. I'm going to talk about that interception. My thoughts on that interception is coming up very soon, and I'm going to start off with the offense. Uh, They did a fake punt. Great. Great. It was great to see that fake punt, and the announcer was talking about that, and they did it. Just haven't seen that in a while. Uh, Lamar Jackson had that. That he had seven carries for 53 yards, one TD. But one of those carries was a 50 yarder. So if you really calculate that, that's not really good for us carrying the ball. He wasn't going anywhere. Gus the bus, nine carries, 38 yards. I still believe he should be starting. Um, second half, he was starting to get into a groove, as you're going to see in my highlights. His cutbacks, oh my goodness, work of art. His cutbacks are work of art. Mark Ingram, eight, eight carries, 34 yards. He had one, one kind of good play. Um, it looks like. I don't know. It looks like he's just a little slower this year. Uh, they didn't really give J.K. a lot of carries until RG3 came out there. But he had a great, good, good cut right there as well. And, man, to me, the future is J.K. and Gus. But I don't know if Gus going to be staying a Raven after this year. Hopefully they sign him, hopefully, pretty soon. Uh, Lamar threw to Hollywood a lot, eight targets, but Hollywood caught four of them, 86 yards. I thought he had a TD, but he just ended up on a one yard, and that's where uh, Mark Ingram got that TD for that one yard. But um, Hollywood, I see they're trying to get Hollywood into that groove. Mark Andrews had a good game, three um, catches for uh, 57 yards, two TDs. He's catch, he catching the ball this game, and it's like the critical games, he's dropping it. That's something to think about. Hopefully that was just a fluke. Um, like, uh, Monday, playing against Kansas City, hopefully that was a fluke. Miles Boykin. Talking about Miles Boykin brings me to that Lamar interception. He's supposed to be doing a comeback route. Lamar threw the ball. He was not even turned around. It's like he forgot to play or something, and boom, this ain't no interception. And even the announcer said it. He's pretty much like Boykin was supposed to turn around fast, and he can read off the DB. Because DB didn't even really jump that route. He just literally did what Miles Boykin was supposed to do, turn around real fast, but he was backpedaling and he just jumped and got it. And Miles Boykin caught that. Uh, cost Lamar that, that um, cost Lamar interception. And I noticed after that, they started putting Devin DuVernay in a lot. Uh, he only had, Devin DuVernay only had two targets, but one catch, four yards. But it's going to be interesting to see uh, next week what they're going to do with that. With um, Devin doing a uh, on the field more. Because, like I said, I believe Devin doing a and James Prochet, they should be on the field a lot more. Man, give the. I understand preseason wasn't there, but give them a chance, man. You know? And Dev Dune has a tremendous upside. On that play that Lamar ran at 50 yarder, 
Hollywood was up top, then DuVernay was at the bottom. And I'm like, right there, they had the safeties pretty much down. And it was just the field was wide open, either for a throw or that run Lamar did. So I know that's something they can look at during the um, during the meetings this week. Now I'm going to go to defense. PQ, PQ had a very good comeback. A very, very good game. Nine tackles, three assists. And them nine tackles, I believe they were solo. And I'm like, that is very, he's, that's a good comeback. Even, they said he was, they took him out of a series. Uh, last uh, last Monday going against Kansas City. I'm like, man, let the dude learn. You know what I'm saying? He's only going to get better. You're going against Kansas City, one of the best offense, the best offense in the NFL right now. And he can learn from that. It, it has happened uh, to a lot, a lot, a lot of good players. But PQ doing his thing. Money, Marlon, Humphrey, that dude got paid this well last week and forced fumble. It's just, it's ridiculous how how he just forced fumbles. It's so crazy how he does it, but he do it. And he, he's worth every single penny that he is getting. Great, great play for Marlon Humphrey. I really didn't see they call uh, my boy Marcus Peters on a couple of holding plays, but he didn't get burnt. I'd rather you hold than get burnt. Uh, Miscommunication from like that last week play, but he did, to me, in my opinion, he did pretty good because I didn't see him really even get tested. Um, but with that, I'm going to go to the, uh, oh, and Deshaun Elliott talking about the DB. Deshaun Elliott is literally flying everywhere. He got hurt for a little second, but I believe it's just a little stinger, but he came back. He is flying. Like, hopefully he stays healthy this whole entire year, all the way to the playoffs and everything. This dude is flying. Great, great tackler. He just, he, like I say, he's just flying great tackler. Um, Judon. Game four. And Judon decides he wants to play now. Going against no disrespect to the Washington football team. But he had two sacks. And I'm like, Marlon Humphrey get paid. Now you trying to ball out. I ain't feeling it. That's why I was like, oh, that's cool. Even Ferguson, he he got a sack. And I was like, oh, that's nice. I'm like, yeah. We need a dominant pass rusher. It just that ain't enough for me, man. Hopefully, um Eric DaCosta, he can bring in somebody because that 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 ain't doing it. That ain't doing it for me. With this this lack of pass rush. And it's just really, it's really depressing. And so hopefully he can find somebody, a trade that'll make a splash or something. Because we're going to need that for the future. Because we can't, it's still early in the season. Without that pass rush, we're going to be in trouble when it get later on. Mainly playing against the Steelers. Uh, with Big Ben back, um, playoffs, Kansas City, you, we got to have that pass rush because he can't be, we cannot be sending everybody and still not getting no pressure. Even this game, he was sending a lot of people. And really, the pressure really wasn't there like that. And, and also, when we got up, up ahead a lot. That's when they start passing it in. That's when they literally start getting the sacks. I'm like, man, y'all should have been getting these sacks weeks ago. 
but hopefully Eric DeCasa can get that pressure. So my overall, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, my overall thought is for his defense, the screen passes was literally killing us the whole game. It seems like they did not make the coaches wink did not try to even fix that because Gibson Gibson was going off and you like you look at his rushes you like uh his rush is 13 carries 46 yards great shut down I I like that but when they were doing them screen passes four four receptions 82 yards he was turning them up on us and i'm like wait is you gonna do something like dude come on with it but that's one of the things i see hopefully they will fix that offensive line still needs a lot of help lamar he's got to get them throws right man he was overthrowing he overthrew Hollywood, he overthrew Boykin, but I'm like, oh, I could care less for Boykin. Boykin might need to do a Darren Wall and go tight end in the offseason. But, um, they gotta just, they gotta work on that. I know Lamar wants to work on that and improve on it. I know he worked on it in the offseason, but let's get this run game going, play action, then he could launch it down the field. And that's how you can work on it and show development as well. That big, that uh, that big plays. Cause they showed they brought up a stat. He's like one of nine at the time. He was one of nine for twenty over yards. And I'm like, wow. And that bring in the question, like I seen on one of Engraving Viz video. Is coaching the problem? Are they holding Lamar back? Lamar says he want to throw. We can go back to Joe Flacco. Joe Flacco was a play action quarterback, in my opinion. He was a play action quarterback. Lamar Jackson, play action quarterback that can run. So, feed the ball to Gus. Feed the ball to J.K. Feed the ball to Mark. It's interesting we haven't even heard nothing from Hill. But feed the ball to them, get that run game going, punish the defense, then let Lamar dart. And also give Dev and James a chance with Hollywood on the field and Willie Sneed on the field. Give them a chance. You can sub them in and out, in and out. Give them a chance because Boykin is not that dude. He is not. I'm so done waiting. This is week four. I'm done. <laughs> so y'all tell me what you think about the game. It's, it's a great win, but I wasn't expecting much. Um, as we know, Washington is rebuilding uh, because their coach, Ron, he's he's getting everything like he wants it. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. Thanks, everybody, for the support. Everybody stay safe. God bless. See you next time.